Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant. We are going to see today is how you can deploy remote app using Windows Virtual Desktop. I hope you have seen the previous video where I did how to set up your session desktop. If not, please go and check it out. So right now I'm going to jump into the Windows Virtual Desktop. Again, to remind you, this is the ARM version or the Spring Update Windows Virtual Desktop, which is brand new. So I'm going to go into the application group and create a new application group. Last time, what we have done is created a new desktop group. So I'm going to select the same resource group where I have the same desktop app session host hosted. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, all the data similar. This time, instead of desktop, I choose remote app. Make sure you provide a name for your remote app group. I'm going to name it as remote app itself and go to assignments. The best thing about assignments now is you can either assign a group of users, which was not available on the previous one. So you could very well go and create a security group and put different users within that group. But instead, I'm going to choose two different users, which we created for the last demo. The first user is bird person and the second user is Jessica. So that's about the assignment. And the third option is straight away, we are getting an option to pick which application you want to deploy as a remote app. Um, I'm going to select a couple of applications. The first one is Excel. Uh, this is going to show me all the list of apps which is installed on that particular session host, which we deployed on the last one. And I chose uh, Paint as the second application. Click next to select the workspace. You can either leave it as none or create a new workspace. I'm going to attach to the same workspace we created on the previous demo, which is Silver Labs workspace. Click next to tag. Uh, if you want to put a tag, you can place it over here. I'm going to straight away go into review and create. Make sure your validation is successful and basically click on create. And while this deployment is happening, I don't think for a remote app, it is going to take a lot of time. It hardly took me a minute to complete the deployment process. Click on go to resource, straight away take you into the remote app group, which we created. So you can navigate through the window to find the options available. We're going to go into application to make sure that the both applications we selected are available. If I need to add a new app, I can straight away click on add new button and I can add a you add a new app again on the assignments uh, we have assigned this app for two users what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the app I'm going to subscribe to the URL I'm going to copy the URL which I kept it for this demo I'm going to make sure that all these details which I'm sharing is going to be available in the blog as well so you can straight away jump into my blog and copy the URL or whatever information you were not able to pick up while watching this video. So make sure to use both side by side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sign in with the person we have assigned to access the remote app. So I'm going to sign in as bird person. Put in the password for that particular user. And what's going to happen now is it is going to validate whether this user have any session desktop or remote app assigned for this particular user. So in the previous lab, we have assigned a session desktop. In this lab, we have assigned two different apps to this user. So I, I can directly double tap on that app, which is going to take a little bit of time for the first time to create the prof profile, things like that in the back end. And this is going to launch the paint application for the user for the first time. Now, since this app is launched, if I close this app and click again, it is not going to take much time like the previous instance. I can now log in to other app. I can sign in. As you can see that this Excel is already signed in with the bird person's profile um, on, on my test laptop as well. So 
the profile configuration is wonderful so now i'm going to unsubscribe and subscribe as a different user so if you remember i configured this application and make sure that i made it available for two different user the first user was bird person and that particular person had a session desktop and remote app assigned the second persona is jessica for jessica i have not deployed a session desktop i just deployed a remote app so when i sign in with jessica i should be only be seeing two remote apps exactly like this so i'm again gonna log in as jessica i'm gonna launch this application to show you there is not much of a difference in terms of user experience uh, what i want to show you is there are multiple ways you can deploy just the session desktop just the remote app or combinations of both so now we have seen these two examples i want to show you something really cool which blew my mind away so i'm going to go back into the application uh, as you already know that we deployed excel and paint i'm going to add one more app on the fly just to show you how fast and simple these deployments are and how quickly it is going to apply to the user settings and profiles etc i'm going to choose word this time select that application save it now it is adding that particular application to all the assigned users looks like the deployment has been completed i gave a refresh as well i'm gonna go back to my client app there is an option to refresh to see if there are any changes which is going to pick up looks like it picked up uh, the change what we have made now i can see the word app is available for that particular user how cool is that so now i can simply double tap the application and i can access just like any other application i have accessed so far so by far this is super simple on how you can assign a new application to a user and how quickly that change is reflecting back to the user as well i really i really like this particular feature i hope microsoft is going to add more and more seamless features like this in the future i'll see you on the next one till then take care bye